Hey everyone, it's Colin here at eTrailer, and today we have a 2019 Chevrolet Equinox. Now we're going to go ahead and do a test fit of these Koenig Standard Snow Tire Chains. These chains have a diamond pattern to them, and they get that name from the diamond shape that they make uh, in between the cross links. Now that's going to give you a much more coverage around your tire, especially if you compare it to a standard ladder pattern chain. And it's going to give you better traction as well. We also have these dual-sided D-links. These are going to really dig into that snow and ice. Going to get really good traction going front and back with these cross links. And then side to side as well with these links that go from front to back. The chains are also class S certified, so they're going to be good for vehicles with limited wheel well clearance like our Equinox right here. And you can see we have them installed on the front tires of our Equinox. That's because it's a front wheel drive vehicle. Now, if your Equinox has all wheel drive and you want to have a set for the back tires, just use the same part number. The chains do have a speed rating of 30 miles per hour, so make sure you're keeping it slow out there. Uh, they also come in a quantity of two, and they come in this nice durable plastic case. Makes for very easy storage when they're not in use. And something I always suggest to people is when you first get the chains, uh, no matter what set of chains you get, is go ahead and practice installing them a couple times on your Equinox before any inclement weather should come. That way you know exactly what you're doing in the situation where you might be outside. You're not gonna have to struggle at all to get them installed. Now I'll walk you through that process right now. Now the first thing you wanna do is lay out your chains and you wanna look them over, check to make sure there's no kinks or twists in the links. If there is, make sure you untangle it. And then also make sure there's no broken links as well. Once you've done that, we're gonna slide the chains behind our tire. That side over there is going to go on the back side of our tire, while this side is going to sit underneath the front. Then when you get it there, go ahead and just like line it up with the tire on both sides. Now what we'll do is bring up the cables behind our tire. We'll connect it right there. We'll kind of let it sneak behind the tire and then grab a hold of the chains, bring them up over the top and sides, just like that. We'll make our first connection right here. We've got our red link onto our red hook, like we talked about earlier. And then down here, we have our gray chain that's gonna go into this channel. You wanna pull as tight as you can. There we go. Now that we've got it pretty snug, We'll feed this chain into these hooks right there. Got clips on them. And then to make sure that that uh, self-tensioning system really kicks in, we're just gonna follow the chain as far as we can and connect it just like that. You can see we got a nice snug fit on our tire. So what we'll do is just repeat this process for the other side. But from there, you're gonna be ready to hit the road. Well, thank you all for watching, and I hope this information helped you out.